So I'm reading through comments in our recent Pearson Work Holding Q&A about some of my equipment buying regrets. Uh, good feedback, good comments, and I've got more stuff I'd like to talk about. Stick around, it might be beneficial to you. Let's head in the conference room. So let's talk about some things that I did buy that I wasn't sure I was making the right decision, but it actually turned out great and I would still have made the same decision today knowing now or knowing then what I'd know now. So the first thing is going to be not buying super speed machines. Now the VF2 SS is I think by far Haas's most popular machine. Uh, seems like every other guy that I follow on Instagram has a VF2 SS. It's a great machine. We just purchased our first one. But my decision not going with super speed was that um, I, I was kind of gun shy about the high pitch ball screws because of the, the Super Mini Mill 2. And you have like a medium ball pitch with the VF series and then a, a finer ball pitch would be the Haas uh, VM, the mold making series machine. So. I liked, I was okay with the slower rapids, the slower max speed rates. Um, I think it's like 650 or 600 inches a minute cutting that we do now on our non SS machines. SS machines go 833. We've never programmed our, our super speed machines. We have two of them. Um, we've never programmed them to anywhere near 833 inches a minute. I think on our VF4 SS, which I purchased that because of the side mount tool changer and the 12,000 RPM spindle, not the table rapids or speeds. Um, I think the fastest we program that is about six, yeah, 600 uh, inches a minute. So for the price of a super speed machine, I've been saving those thousands of dollars each time across one, two, three, four, five, five standard VF machines. And um, I've, I've been able to reinvest the difference in that into new equipment. So. Uh, you actually get almost a free machine if you cut back on the options that you need. Like uh, only half of our machines have probes. I'd say, yeah, three out of six machines have probes. So we've taken that $55,000, $6,000 per package and uh, allotted that to different equipment purchases. And um, it's just a strategy that's paid off. Now, 